Graham v. Connor, 1989. In 1984, Delthorne Graham was driven to a convenience store by his friend, William Berry, to get orange juice because he was having an insulin reaction. Graham ran into the store, but after seeing that the line was too long, ran back out to the car and told his friend to drive to another store. The police nearby witnessed Graham run in and out of the store, as well as watch the car speed away. Believing that they were involved in a robbery, Barry's car was pulled over. The police did not believe the story that Graham was having an insulin reaction. Graham got out of the car, ran around it twice, and then passed out. The police handcuffed him and believed that Graham was drunk. When Graham regained consciousness, he told the police he had a diabetic card in his wallet. The police refused to allow him to get sugar and thrust him into the police car. Graham sustained a broken foot, cuts, and bruises. When the police realized that Graham was telling the truth, they took him home. Graham sued the police officers in the city of Charlotte, North Carolina for the use of excessive force in violation of the Fourth Amendment. The police in the city won in district court, so Graham appealed all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the police, acting in good faith and reasonable objectiveness, did not violate the Fourth Amendment rights of Graham. Because of the strange behavior observed by Graham and Barry, the police reasonably assumed that the crime was committed and therefore acted in accordance with the Fourth Amendment.